All right. Well, look, this is something that we've done a lot with our leadership development program. So, for example, when we do our leadership training, we will actually uh, take a range of different students. And you may find you've got students who are older in age and they're not necessarily the fit to lead a class, but they've got a beautiful personality. And again, we then to not farm them off, but direct them towards a different role. So for example, I've got some big hitters who are absolutely dynamite at running a class. They're a great assistant, that's how they learn. I've had some older ladies who we just felt that were a great you know, ambassador for your school, but we then direct them and say, look, we think you'd make a great fit in the administration behind the scenes stuff. And what they do is they learn, they almost do on the job training there and upskill themselves. They're learning the processes with the promise of, if we reach a point and you do a great job, there may be potential in three months' time to offer you that position. Yeah. Uh, again, it's a, a little bit like work experience. The idea behind that is you're, you're really trying to help people understand you are a great advocate of the school. We want to give you an opportunity, but to do that, I've got to train you in that role, and that for, therefore it's an unpaid. Mm. So they're kind of uh, working with the potential to getting that job. But hey, look, you can't promise the world because if you say you got to promise it, suddenly they're not the right fit, you're kind of stuck. Yeah, I mean, like interns. Yeah, you know, interns is a huge thing in the marketing industry, mm. right? And it's the same thing. You got to figure out what is their motivation to work if it's at a low paid, or yep. you know, you've got to give them some other incentive. Look for sure. You know, there's, there's ways that you can reward students. Uh, uh, you know, even volunteers in ways that money may not necessarily be their driving force. That may be something they want a career, they want to actually get a a job out of that. I know we found very difficult having that contra and to explain what that is, swapping their membership fee for work. Mm. I wouldn't recommend schools do that. We've tried it in the early days and failed miserably because- Not a good move. You know, people end up forgetting there's an actual, uh, you know, there's, there's jobs to do. And when Phil, if we're doing Contra, he's away for a few days, I'm onto him going, hey, you gotta catch up, but then it's, it just becomes very, very messy. So if you're ever gonna get someone to volunteer, make sure there's an end game on that and there's an objective that you're trying to accomplish. So that is, do, the, do this for this period of time, we're gonna upskill you with the potential to offer you a, uh, a part-time position as the income increases in that role.